Let's play Tandrill. It's in a beta playtest right now, so a demo version, but it will launch in April 2024 with three characters to choose from. Dragoon, for example, he's a, a knockback specialist who excels at the front line of defense, so a tanky boy, a beefy tanky boy, I mean, look at that curve. And let's take Phantom, employs subtlety and agile maneuvers against unexpected enemies. Unsuspecting enemies, not unexpected, I mean, we expect to see enemies, but they don't expect to see us. With the choice of two of one artifact, meaning each character gets one of those. So for example, Rubicide, combat heal rewards are 35% stronger for all heroes. So the healing part, we'll take a look at later. But we can also use this one, minus 60 gold, we have 125, random rare relic. Let's pick that one. When any hero heals at a campfire, they gain 6 max HP. Ah, we only visit about 3 campfires, so 18 max HP. Okay, it's it's good, but... Okay, what? Gain agony. Hero loses 3 health per turn. Oh. <sighs> Do we want that? Yes, let's pick that. Let's be risky. So, these are runes. These are attached to a card. Meaning, card is played twice. Echo, we can do, for example, um, pick this one, so we don't deal 9 damage once, but twice. And random rare rune, okay, when will this be activated? We will see. When no one against block, a random adjacent enemy takes 5 damage, that's important. A horned mask is the relic, the artifact we have. Now I picked a fight where we get additional cards at the end when we win. I mean, we will win, so don't worry. Now, I moved close to the to the enemy and due to the horned mask, I will put 5 block up, meaning this damage right here will be negated. And his attack will hit Phantom, meaning... I should get behind this barrier so it doesn't so it doesn't hit him. I move here, so this will be going there. Sadly, I wasn't able to move close enough, or I was able to move close enough, but I don't want to get hit because we have agony, lose three health at end of turn. Amount doubles next turn, so not something we want to have additionally with the five attacks here. Uh, with the five damage here. So let's move on. Now, next time we get 6 damage. And both target Phantom. So, Phantom should be kept up with, with guard. Luckily, we can put the sh stone shield on Phantom as well. So, when we move... Where, where do I want to move him? I think I want to move him here. Because, short charge. It sadly costs 2 energy and we only have 3, so when I move here and use this one, I can't use Stone Shield. But, 8 damage plus 1 knockback. Knockback means 3 damage, so 11 damage to 12. Don't want that one. Because he will... Yeah, he won't die. So, what can I do? He will get hit for 6 damage, of course due to agony but I want to negate this one right here <sighs> eight damage I can only deal seven I hate it can I move there nope I can't and he will target nearest hero so that's a good thing because when we move here he will change his target meaning Dragoon will be hit and that's fine, because now I can move here, attack him, put up guard, give him f crap. Okay, I need to finish him anyway, so... I As you just saw, the range from the stone shield was one too, too, too close to Dragoon itself, so couldn't, couldn't target Phantom, but anyway. Now... It's over anyway, so because only 5 damage left, or 5 health left. Now we get a picking of 4 cards. Fan of Knives. 
uh, here we see which direction it will take. The, select, uh, the projectile will move in all directions, even diagonally. So it deals 6 damage and 1 exposed, meaning they will receive 50% more damage. And I think exposed keeps up for the whole run, for the whole fight. Uh, Harpoon, if something is hit, this hero gets pulled in and draws one card. So it is some form of movement card as well, dealing 8 damage and moving um, Phantom close to our enemy or whichever. I will take Fan of Knives. That's it. Now we get to see the map. The map is a bit bare bones, I have to admit, but anyway, now we can pick one of three areas or one of three paths. So card bloom, card reward for random heroes. So we don't have to fight, but the next one will be any common fight here anyway. So move shrine, I get a new movement card. As you can see, we have here simple move to the target tile, but there are different movement cards as well. And event, we don't know what this can do for us, but I actually want to visit the trinket shops as the trinket shop as well, meaning move shrine, then the common combat and trinket shop. So let's go there. This is the movement shrine. Oh, move shrine. So. Phantom gets a new movement card. I really like this one. Move to the target tile and generate one kunai, meaning uh, free to use for damage, but also two block uh, footfall. Let's pick footfall. Move to the target tile and gain two block. Block increases by two each time it is played. So increasing. So since we can only have three movement cards, we have to replace one of those and get on to the next fight. So, here we also see the turn order in which they will hit us. So this one will attack first. So we can we can think about which, mo which character moves where. So maybe he will be blocked by another character, but in this case, no. And in this case, no, because there are no, cha no characters moving right here, because he will only move at the end of the turn. Regardless, I want to move him here because this was a special area that gave Dragoon 10 block. Now, since we have Horned Mask, he got block, he dealt 5 damage to every adjacent enemy. So now we can, sorry, let's at first look at this shiny new boy, this golden skitterbug. Once we kill him, as you see, shiny on the right side. I can't move the mouse here. So anyway, shiny. We have above move, down below vanishing, shiny in the middle. If this unit dies, gain 75 gold at the end of combat, which is great because this is basically what we have current, or what we currently have. Anyway, let's do five damage. He will attack with six, and he will also target the nearest hero. So what if we move here? Yeah, that's not an option. But what option do I want? I want to move here since, let me show you when I move here and we have Fan of Knives. So it will go in that direction, that direction, that direction. I will hit every single one of them. And now I put a four guard <coughs> and can't use the stone shield because it is only possible to an adjacent hero, which actually is bad, but regardless, let's move on. <clears throat> now he got dealt one damage and oh boy now we have an area of effect attack here going is going to go here so we should move dragoon away probably but let me check first because if 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 i move here stab him can't give Dragoon the guard, but I can either push him away, meaning he will be placed here with 8 damage and can move close to him, which is probably the best way. Now, as you can see, the melee attack is too far. He will move only about here 
and can't attack Dragoon and this area will be going into nothingness. Sadly there is no friendly fire or gl I'm glad there is no friendly fire otherwise I would kill myself quite often. But next up I will move Dragoon over here hitting him with short charge. So now you can see the knockback. You'll see 8 damage will be dealt, but since he will be pushed back into the wall, additional 3 for impact. So he got 11 damage. Now move him here, deal 9 here, 7 here, and it's done. Now the rewards, 14 gold, illuminate potion. Target hero chooses a new random power card for this combat, energy cost is 0 this turn. We will look at the power cards in a minute. 75 gold since we killed the shiny boy and Dragoon gets new cards. Deal 8 damage, apply smoke. The smoke card will be exhausted so we can't play them more than once in a, during a battle. And stalagmite and stalactites are the one from the hanging from the uh, from the roof. Stalagmites. Target gains 5 spike for the rest of combat. So once he gets attacked, 5 damage. But I also I really like Compose. Target gains 7 block and draws 1 card. <coughs> Next up is the Trinket Shop. Now we have 167 gold we can spend. So here are artifacts, potions, and we could also use an Exalt chart, Shard, upgrades a chosen card. River Coin. The next time own a would die, they instead heal for 75% of their max health and this relic is consumed. That is insanely powerful. I mean, one of my characters will die because I'm not that great at this game, but 75% health regained, that's amazing. When I want to place a 2 plus energy card, they, they apply 2 feeble to the target. Feeble is 20% less damage for the next round. At the end of your turn, or against two block per adjacent enemy. We could combine this with Dragoon, so he will gain two block, deals five damage to every adjacent. But I really like the river coin. I reckon it's a play on um, the river sticks, you know, river coin, the, the Greek mythology of Chiron, I think his name is the the coin to move over the river sticks so you can go into hell yes that's a wanted outcome the next battles will have either heal chosen hero it's only for 20 percent health so it won't be full healing i mean what is 20 percent of 45 no clue i'm bad at maths but i actually want additional card to choose from i want to build up a bit of a, of a deck i can really utilize Okay, move him he's here, stone shield, oh, shit. Well, not shit, because I still have this one, so I will move here. I'll give Dragoon another four block, he will re... Okay, for some reason this didn't trigger. When Ona gains block, a random adjacent... Oh! One random adjacent enemy takes 5 damage. I'm an idiot. So, let's kill him. <sighs> Crap, he will deal 9 damage. That is not good. Oh well. The 9 damage will be blocked here, but... No, he will hit Phantom for 4 damage. For So, Phantom will lose 13 damage. That was a bad outcome. A a bad, bad choice for me. Bad choice. Bad Dorian. Okay. So. Now. Let's. Really think about what we will do next. Okay. I can use Fan of Knives. But I want him to receive the exposed. If I do Fan of Knives, these two will die he won't have the exposed debuff, which I really want. So let's do... 
No, actually, actually, it's fine. Because now I will move here, do a short charge, move here, 7 damage, and Dragoon gets 9 damage. I'm such a moron. See, that's that's the reason why I took go, uh, River Coin. That's why I took River Coin, because one of my characters will die. And for some and funnily enough, I want it to be Phantom. Not only because he doesn't show me his face, what a, what a prick, but also because he has the coin. Choose card. Phantom cards. Perfect. Costs less energy each time owner moves this turn. Mm. If I had more movement cards, good. But since I only have three movement cards and there are additional cards where I can move additionally, but this is too expensive for three energy. When this hero moves, they add one kunai to their hand. Okay, so this is a power card. I mentioned power cards before. Wrist plates. Power cards are a passive effect that will hold on for the whole duration of the battle. So when they use this, when I use this card, every time Phantom moves, I get a free Kunai. Deal 4 damage and apply 1 feeble to a random adjacent. Ricochet deal 5 damage, returns to user's hand when played and gains 4 damage for this turn. Okay, that's actually <sighs> the selection and the range of 1, so I have to be close to an enemy. I thought it would be something I can throw, but it's a ricochet and not a boomerang. Regardless, I'll take this one. Now we go up to the rune shrine. There's a guy crying into his own hands and giving us one rune. Rune, again, is for cards. Choose one card from any draw pile and put it in the card owner's hand. Once per turn, once per combat, gain three fa favor. F f it's not favor, it's favor. F favor, whatever. Gain three favor. I will mispronounce it all the time this turn. Okay, so I will give this to here because when I move, this will be the, f when the turn starts, I will move. When the turn starts, the first thing I will do is move. So I want three favor for this turn, meaning three damage more. I clicked on accept. You prick. Reliquary. Perfect. Reliquary. Meaning gain 6 max HP, which I actually love. Phantom gets 6 more because now 75% is a bit more. We can do an elite combat, meaning rewards are improved. Or get a potion, get card, get gold. But let me check what the map says. Yeah, one of those is an elite enemy, and then we will choose again which route we want to take to up to the boss lurker. I actually want better... Oh, yeah, forgot the black market. Is it because he is black? No. Since I only have 38 gold, there is nothing really much I can do, except I could buy this card for this effect, Spellbind. When Dragoon plays a skill card, all enemies gain one favor. Favor, Fav whatever. It lasts one combat, so whenever he plays a skill card, the enemies gain one more damage, which is not, not, not that favorable for me. All of Phantom's attacks start with Witchfire. I don't want that, because, because Witchfire deals six damage to user when played. I mean, that's insane. For this power, this power is good, but I want this one. Now oh, here we go. Okay, let's see, because he's an elite, he has a passive sharp scales. When receiving attack damage, deals two damage to all adjacent heroes, which sucks because all my characters, or my two characters, are melee fighters. Anyway, I will move here, give him 7 block, damaged him, 
and six. No, he will receive two damage. And then we will move with Phantom. He has now two armor. And again, the three favor, meaning three more damage. Deal eight damage returns to user hand when played and gains four damage for this turn, which is good. But I want to see maybe, maybe I can pick a power that would be helpful. Hmm. This is not helpful because Phantom doesn't have any projectile cards yet. Or the Kunai's, for example, those would be increased at, at the end of each turn. So, yeah, that would be great, but I don't have that many, many projectile cards yet. When a hero applies impact, target hero adds one roll to the hand. So a free movement card whenever Dragoon hits someone with his charge. And invigorate the second time target hero moves each turn, they gain one energy. Since I don't have a second movement card yet, this actually blows. Anyway, give me two precision at the end of every turn. Yeah, eight damage now and 12 damage now sadly phantom will receive two damage but what can you do so i could move over here nope range is not enough range is not enough for both because this path is one step too far and it is blocked anyway for dragoon to go directly he would have to move up here which is not possible for him Regardless, I want to push him against that one. So the power with the impact one from Phantom before would have been helpful right now, but no, I didn't pick it because I'm a prick. Next one, I should be able to move here. Yes, no. Nope can't because I can't go diagonally so this one has to go first anyway I now have fan of knives and since I have four precision increases projectile damage by four and this is a projectile it doesn't deal six damage but ten and does exposed 50% more damage from any incoming So let's see, 13, now, hmm. Oh yeah, and I forgot the echo, uh, the double hit. So, no, let's move here, give him the block because I want to finish him and he would receive two damage. So Dragoon took the damage. Take me on, yes, that's the elite reward. Was it? Okay, no, it just was one card. Pirate hat. Gold combat rewards are doubled. That's good. Dragoon gets it. So he has a nice hat on top of the horde mask. And choose a card. This is for Dragoon. Draw one card and apply Fog to it. Fog is a random energy cost, which could suck because if you get this one, if you draw this one and it says, oh, randomly, three energy for this card, yeah. That blows. When any hero gains block, target gains one force. That is an amazing power. Because force increases impact damage. He will beef up his impact damage, charges one time, and boom! Huge damage. Since we don't have enough gold for the trinkets, and I don't need the card removal here, I mean, events are often quite good but I also want the improved rewards from the elite combat so card bloom it is one card for Dragoon and here we have the one I actually wanted stone gauntlet deal nine damage and three knockback meaning the impact will be thrice yeah three times three times three 
But since he has the power card, which means whenever he get whenever anyone gets a, gets block, when a hero gets block, target gains one force. Meaning, in a turn, two time, we will have two blocks. Or anyway, pick this one. Elite combat reward potion rewards are improved. This. Oh boy, this frog went hard on his steroids. Yeah. 10 damage targets nearest hero. Good. And thick skin, he reduces damage from attack cards by 35%. Let's build up some block. Damage here. Move him here, ricochet. Now 9 damage. Again, ricochet. Yeah, should be 9 damage. But since he had 35% damage reduction, it's on, it only was 5 damage. Well, not that bad anyway. So he will jump up and down, probably hitting us quite hard. But, but, you will see now what will happen we will deal a lot of damage deal nine damage and three knockbacks so nine damage from impact as well and additionally this is impaled meaning six damage additionally from impact so it should be only about loads of damage yeah there we go and now i can move away because i don't want to be hit with dragoon hitting him i could have given him block but I can still do that and he will receive five damage because his rift fragment removes the chosen card the reward is nice but yeah i don't really want to remove cards i like my cards right now at least okay move here give him armor hit him hit him hit him done 20 gold and flash potion apply flash to four random cards flash is amazing flash deals damage whenever you play this card meaning four cards randomly in my deck will receive flash and when i play them they deal five damage to a random enemy quite good when an enemy attacks deal four damage back yes dragoon you're a spiky boy now choose a book to choose a card stick in bomb in two turns ah, that one is good when any hero plays an attack, target hero draws one card, it's alright. Target draws one move card, the draw card costs zero energy this turn. Huh. I take the stick and bomb. Now go to Exalt Stones and upgrade a card. Do I want this one? Whenever hero gains block, target gains two force. Or since through the echo it's doubled it's 26 damage which is great what else could we have ricochet additional damage nine no i'll take temple thump and i actually want to heal a bit because phantom gets pretty low a melee attack and he will target Dragoon and he will target the nearest hero. He will also target the nearest hero. So, Dragoon, why are you so slow? Why can't you move this far? Oh, damn it. Regardless, I will give him block. Crap. I didn't read what I didn't. I I didn't I forgot to check my cards because a mess would have been helpful right now but anyway 7 damage now so he should be yeah it's not fine but to get a bit of damage now and also feel well, he deals 20% less attack damage but there we go, we don't need attack damage. What do I want to do? I want to do this. Yes, but because now the way is three. Free. 
I can deal damage here. I can move here. I can deal 19 damage here. And there we go. Throw models. Apply Intimidate. Phantom gains 2 precision. Mm -hmm. Dagger Swarm. I like this one. And Phantom gets 10 health. Move shine. Threatening gate. Move to the target tile and apply one feeble. Move to the target tile and pull targets into you. Oh yeah. That's good. Now we go to the campsite because the boss is coming up next. This boss will hide in chests. You'll see because I can't finish the 155 damage in the first round anyway. So let's deal a little bit of damage, and now he will split into these groups, meaning I. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Now I know. Oh, yeah! Hmm. Yes, I will move here, pull in every one of them and everyone should get one damage. And now we found in which it's not a chest, it's um, a pot in which the lurker was. First of all, he needs a bit of armor and he is outside now, so the armor actually isn't necessary but regardless he now is the bomb meaning the sticking bomb in one turn or on death this unit and any adjacent enemies will receive 20 damage since there are no adjacent enemies he will just deal or receive 20 damage okay he will hit dragoon for 16 which is a lot but not that problematic But I actually want him to receive a bit of force. He won't be kicked. He won't receive the impact because, yeah, he won't hit the... Oh, crap. Damn it. I moved him now closest to Phantom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a smart boy, Distorian. Not a smart boy. Regardless, I can move here, give him a bit of armor, deal a bit of damage and move out of the way so he will only receive one damage here. <sighs> okay. But now you'll see what the impact can really do. First of all, fan of knives, he will get exposed again. Dagger swarm, swarm, I wanted to say. It sounded a bit more German. Now 13 initial damage and three knockbacks. Since we have five force, let's see. 24 damage. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So we have vacuum. Vacuum. Vacuum boots? Vacuum boots? Oh. No worries. Let's see. He's not in here. So, crap. Dragoon needs a lot of armor. And what do we have here? He gets for armor again from me. And here we have the lurker. Now he's outside, and I can deal with him. 5 damage here, 5 damage, 9 damage here, and done. So this is the reward, and one skill card. Yes, target hero gains 4 health each time it is attacked this turn, and that's it. And we receive new artifacts and would move on to act 2 out of 3. And that's... Tenrill.